The Heathkit H89 computer and H19 terminal use a repeat key, which must be held down if you want a keyboard key to repeat. The lack of automatic key repeat on the H89 and H19 is a little annoying when you're used to this feature on modern computers. In the 1980s, a company called Analytical Products sold a kit for a little board that connected between the keyboard and terminal logic board that added automatic key repeat. It goes in line between the keyboard and ribbon cable, so no modifications to the computer are needed, and it would work with the Heathkit H89, H89A, H19, H19A, and Zenith Z19 and Z89. I've never seen an original unit, but a copy of the manual was online, and it had a schematic and instructions that appeared to be sufficient to allow me to reproduce the board. Originally, I was going to prototype the circuit on a breadboard or protoboard, but I decided instead to go straight to a PCB. I used the web browser-based EasyEDA software to enter the schematic and generate a PCB design. My board layout is similar to the original board, shown in a line drawing in the manual. To simplify routing, I rotated the transistor and moved R3. There was an omission in the schematic in the manual. Power and ground connections were not shown for ICU1. The original design had some optional components. I added support for these and will describe them later. I ordered my PCBs from jlcpcb.com and they were very inexpensive. $2 US for five boards plus the cost of shipping. I also built a second unit as I had enough parts on hand. After assembling a board, it worked very well. The repeat frequency and delay seemed to be just right. To use the board, the ribbon cable to the keyboard PCB is removed. The repeat module plugs into the PCB and then the ribbon cable connects to the connector at the back of the repeat module PCB. When disconnecting the ribbon cable, note the orientation of the cable and the fact that it should have a twist in it. Also note that the stripe on the ribbon cable does not go to pin one of the connector as would normally be the convention. Once installed, all keys will repeat after a short delay, about half a second. There's no adjustments needed, although it has some optional features that I'll describe later. It uses two ICs, a CD4013 dual D flip-flop and a CD4020 14-bit binary counter, as well as a 2N3904 transistor, 16 1N4148 diodes, and some resistors and capacitors. Assembly is straightforward and uses all through-hole components, and all parts are commonly available. The manual describes the circuit, including some timing diagrams. When a key is pressed, the keyboard scan pulses from all nine columns are counted by the 14-stage counter. When the counter reaches a defined count, it drives the repeat key via transistor. It remains on until the keyboard key is no longer pressed. There are some optional parts described in the manual. CX is an optional 1000 picofarad capacitor to be installed if repeat is not desired for the top row of keyboard function keys. Point S is for adding an external defeat switch to allow turning off auto repeat if desired. The switch would normally be installed somewhere on the case where it would be accessible. Part Z is an optional 10K resistor to add if operation is intermittent on an H89A or H19A. The H89A has a shielded ribbon cable and filter capacitors on several lines that can reduce the level of scan pulses on some keyboard rows. On some systems it was found that the 10K resistor was needed to pull down the IC supply voltage so it triggers on lower signal levels. If this isn't sufficient, the manual suggested also removing diode D1 to further reduce the supply voltage. I have an original H89 and not an H89A, so I wasn't able to confirm if any of these changes were needed. I don't know if this was a popular product. In the December 1986 issue of Remark magazine, the official magazine for users of Heath Zenith computer equipment, 
I found an ad for the repeat module being offered as a kit for US $35 or assembled for $45. I found a smaller ad in the October 1984 issue for US $32 and $40 for kit and assembled respectively. I also found it listed in two 1986 and 1987 issues of Sextant magazine, a magazine dedicated to the Heath Zenith line of microcomputers. I would be curious to hear if anyone owns one of the original modules or did in the past. Before anyone asks if I'm able to sell boards or PCBs, I should mention that I live in Canada, and if you live in another country, it's likely cheaper for you to order the PCBs and parts directly from suppliers than for me to ship them to you. Finally, I should mention that there's a third-party replacement becoming available for the hard-to-find keyboard encoder IC used on the H19 and H89. The replacement chip implements auto-repeat internally. It's unknown if the auto-repeat module will work with this part, but in any case it would serve no purpose. This was a fun little project to reproduce an old add-on product for the H89 and H19, and it makes them more usable without requiring any permanent modifications to the systems.